All right. Today is the 11th of May, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Sheila. And we're going to the entrance of the mystery spot. In Santa Cruz. Sorry. Uh, okay, you were free, so I wonder if they'll refund us six bucks. Or just let it cover our parking. Oh. Oh. Well. technicians and engineers. We spent hundreds of hours trying to solve this problem and eventually got these two by fours from Home Depot. Very inventive guys, I know. Mm -hmm. Now I show you guys, this is a new flat level service. I have a level. Do you guys all know how a level works? Yes. All right, come and explain it to you anyways. So this air bubble right here, when it's in the middle of this tube, that means that whatever surface the level is on is flat and level, correct? Yes. Now one way you can bring a level is you can freeze the bubble. So as you guys can all see, Bubble is moving, yes. You guys will see that. See that right there, kiddo? Yeah, all the way back there. Bubble's moving, yes. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and place it down on my board. And does someone want to tell me where that bubble is? It's in the middle, right? So flat, level, center, whatever you want to call it. Hey. Now another way you can do level is you can make one side thicker than the other. So if I flip it over, place it back down. Still in the middle, correct? Yeah? Yeah? Even if I place down this one right here, it's still in the middle, yes? Yeah? Cool. So guys, this is indeed a flat level surface. Now that being said, can I have two volunteers? Alright, cool, sir. Can I just stand right here for me? I have you, sir. You want to stand right here? Are you guys gonna stand on this piece of wood facing each other's pair of skis? So I'm gonna both be on a piece of wood. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And go ahead and look up into each other's eyes. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, oh it might be you might be just a little bit shorter, right? Your island maybe about almost in line, right? I said that I thought I'll have you guys switch places for me. As you guys will see, he's actually shrunk, right? Now he's on his way down there, but your eyes are now definitely a taller one. 
Congratulations, sir. It's very exciting. I'm so sorry to hear our refunds for high school. Round of applause, man. Hey. Hey. Does anyone else want to test this out before we move on? Yeah, sure. You want to stand up here? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
center in my body. Get a little push. You guys will see. It will start to favor this direction more than it will favor this direction. Again, that force pushing things out of the cab, and then that force you feel as you walk up the hill. Now, guys, like I said, this pendulum is 32 pounds. So when I give you your free time, please don't hit anyone with it unless they really deserve it. Now, see you, ma'am. Can I have you walk up those steps right there? You're leaning against? Yeah. You're leaning against some steps? Yeah, right behind you. Like steps. See the steps you're leaning on? Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, so go ahead and walk up. Keep going. You'll make it. Alive. You're fine. I've never seen someone walk up steps like that. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so as you can see, she's demonstrating our staircase of mystery. And I have to tell you guys, that proves absolutely nothing. That's kind of what we'll take pictures on, who actually Spider Man doing gonna do. Now, you guys have about five minutes of free time on Ask and Exit. Please exit through those two doors and stay in that second courtyard for my next demonstration. Please keep it down. I do have a group directly behind us. Us Torres are starting to lose our voice. We've been at this for like eight days, alright? Straight. So, keep it down a little bit, alright? Alright, guys, have fun, free time. Woo! Don't push this, funny. Alright, get in there. Alright. Hang on. Are you ready? Hang on. No, I'm not ready. I'm ready. Heavy? I'll push it that way. Easy? Okay. Alright, you're going to try this. Okay. Okay. We're on. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Yep. It's on. Okay. Oh, is it on? Still? Okay. Do you have uh, anything in the pocket? Yeah. Cell phone. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the video, like the cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it hard to is it hard to walk up? <laughs> Gravity. Push it off. <laughs> well, yeah, I got my hand in front of this one. See how easy it is? Yeah. Then go the other way and get pulled. Feel it? Yeah. 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 Who's our coworker? Yeah. Look at that. Like we're flying. Yeah. Woo, cool. it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. I feel dizzy, nauseous, sick, and that stuff. Yeah, yeah a little bit. I know awesome. it's always been the place you are. So if you're being sick, you come to Spanish, take a seat, get some fresh air. Realize it's always normal. I have a question for you guys. Who thinks that this is the higher side of the bench? I do. It looks like it, right? Maybe yes. not. Who thinks that's the higher side of the bench? And who thinks this bench?
branch is perfectly level and flat. Alright guys, so after level rise, go ahead and place it down, press it out. As you guys see, it's a higher side of the bench. So if I take that billiard ball, place it at the highest side of the bench, what should happen? It's a move. It's rolled out, right? So let's go ahead and test it out. As you guys will see, like any typical ball, it just rolls down the bench, right? But you guys all agree that's pretty normal. Uh, ball, uh, balls are typically flow down the hill, correct? Yes. There's nothing mysterious about that. But you guys paid $6. There's going to be something cool about this bench, right? <laughs> now, guys, as I walk this direction, what happens to me? Yeah, it looks like I'm getting shorter, right? Which is really bad news for you. Now, the reason supposedly it looks like I'm getting shorter is because as I walk this direction, this roof line is going up. The floor is coming up to beat the bench, almost causing it to be like an optical illusion, right? This is actually not the case. So is there one here at eight, ugh. Is there anyone here that's six feet tall or taller? Are you sir? Can I borrow you for a second? I'm gonna have you stand right here at the end of this bench and face the audience for me. And right here, five, ten, five, nine. Alright, cool, sir. You wanna stay right next to him? Yeah, I'm here, five, eight, five, seven. Alright, sir, you wanna stay right next to him? You know, five, four, five, three. Big up, big up, big up. Obviously, right where I am. You know, five, six, five, five. <laughs> Alright, cool ma'am. You want to stand right in between the floor? So, so how do you see this one? And you have five feet around there, five, two. Oh, Alright, cool. You want to stand at the very end for me, ma'am? Come on, you guys. You want to scoot over a little bit? Let's scoot this Cool. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, the now the AT&T commercial, right? <laughs>
Hi guys, we're making our way down to Seabox. What's up, Robbie? Do you need a level? Okay. Um, hey, Skylar! Come here! Yes. And can you give Robbie your level? He forgot this. Solve the problem. Alright, guys, we're just gonna start. I'm gonna throw it down here at some point in the paper. They're taking some of Alright, guys, so these right here are T blocks. Now, can you tell me why we call them the T blocks? Oh, yeah, they came with a giant T, right? Now, these T blocks were sent to a scientific observation. They used to be perfectly level to each other, but in the year 1989, something happened that caused them to be off level. Does anyone know what happened in 89? Earthquake. Earthquake, right? And then we had an earthquake. But it caused me off level by a very small amount. If I take that level, go ahead and place it down, you guys will see. Bubble is going this way by about 1 16th of an inch, right? A small amount, but still noticeable. Now, let's see. If I take this leaf right here, right? You guys all see this leaf? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half, so it's about 1 16th of an inch thick. You guys will see that. I'm going to go ahead and place it underneath my level. And as you guys can see, this pretty much solves the problem. This is now pretty much a balanced flat and level surface. So if you take 1 16th of an inch, multiply it throughout this whole block, it ends up being that this side is 2 inches taller than that side. You guys all with me on the math? Mm -hmm. Alright cool, so that being said, I picked three anti-volunteers. And by anti-volunteers, I'm a people, I don't think I want to be here right now. But sir, since your shirt's purple, can I borrow you for a second? Sure. <laughs> I always stand right here for me to face this direction, right? And let's see, can I borrow you ma'am for a second? Yeah? Alright cool, I'm going to sit right there and face him at the very end of this block too. Is it recording? Yeah. yeah. Alright, and let's see, can I borrow, how about you sir, can I borrow you for a second? I always stand right here and face me. So I've chosen you to be my scientific observer, all right? Mainly because they're more responsible than me do, right? <laughs> but not that any of you actually really look responsible. Now I need to ask you a couple questions to make sure you're qualified. So how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Four. Five. This is a thumb. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, scientific observer, I'd like you to tell me between these two people which one is taller. <laughs> You saw it, right, guys? I want to draw an imaginary line from very top of his head all the way over here. And I'd like you to tell me that my level hits that imaginary line, all right? Higher or lower from here? Uh, higher. Higher. Uh, higher. Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to switch. So you, sir, will come here. Come here, we'll go there. Oh, oh, wow. As you guys will see, he grew quite a bit, right? That's about eight inches here. It's about an eight inch level. Wow. Now you have to combine there's a two inch difference from that side to this side. So still eight takeaway two is six, correct? Yeah. There's still six inches here on account of height gain. You actually got this much shorter. Sorry about that. Round of applause, guys, for a moment. <laughs> now let's see. Can I borrow? How about you, ma'am, for a second? Cool. I should break in the middle of the block and face the audience. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Are you videoing? No, it's not used yeah. dramatic hygiene. Again, causing some kind of level. I'll have you turn your head towards me. Place one hand right here. Alright, cool, guys. I'm going to taller or shorter than her. About the same, right? Yeah. Our lines pretty much line up. I'm going to go ahead and switch places. You're going to stay right there, okay? Now go ahead and turn around. Go ahead and put one hand here. Other hand. Go ahead and look at me. Did I visibly get shorter? Yes. Giant shorter, guys? Yeah. Now her eye line's like right here, right? Now, could you see that fence line behind you? Huh? Could you see the fence line behind you? Yes. Okay, I'll put your hand back. Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you see it? No. But did I still get shorter? A round of applause, guys, for our volunteer. Thank you so much. Alright, guys, this is typically around the time we're just showing the effects of that magnetic vortex. Theory number three is that 15 feet up this hill, there's a fault line. And it has spewed open leaking CO2 gas. They all have been inhaling it for the last 45 minutes. And it's caused us to have a group hallucination. Now, all I can say, guys, is welcome to Santa Cruz, California. Alright? We are keeping it weird. Now, the fourth, most believable theory. I need you guys to your hands together for me like this. And I need you guys to your hands together for me throughout the entire time I tell us next theory. Theory number four is that between these trees right here crashed an alien spaceship into this hillside. Keep going, guys, keep going. And that this alien spaceship is buried deep underneath ground with its engines still running. <coughs> and every couple of hours, these aliens get bored. So they come out just this tour, guys. 
And my creative people rub their hands together for no reason. <laughs> and I've just been controlling your minds this whole time. Visit our gift shop. <laughs> Obviously, these are all just things, alright guys, and have been proven. But let me give you what Julie came here for. Does anyone know what's in this box? I have the world famous mystery spot bumper stickers. Woo! Get excited, guys. You get to advertise for us for free. Now you can stick these to pretty much anything. Mom, dad, sister, cat, dog, whatever you got. Now I'm assuming you kids don't have cars, so if you're feeling absolutely crazy, there's plenty in the parking lot. Alright? My boss's car is green, just letting you guys know. Alright guys, like my tour again. My name is Dominique. However, if you didn't like my tour, wish to complain. Say it was a horrible tour guy. My name is Rachel. <laughs> Alright guys, if you're walking down this hill, because I guarantee if you fall, you're not going to roll back up. <laughs> We're on a